I will talk today about the demise of the public social science uh, uh, in the Arab world and uh, through one of the case study uh, uh, I did about uh, writing op-eds uh, in Lebanese uh, newspaper. And uh, this work is part of collaborative work with my dear friend, uh, Regas Alvanitis, and we have just published uh, a book in, in, in Arabic and in English. Um, and deliberately, we get the English, the Arabic version first, in order to generate a debate in the Arab world. So uh, when I talk about, uh, uh, of course, uh, newspaper writing, we can think about six uh, uh, different uh, kind of writing, uh, whether it's editorial written by the, uh, the newspaper staff or letter to, uh, to editors, uh, op-eds uh, written by external uh, 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 people outside of the newspaper staff, uh, statement, declaration, petitions, uh, signed, uh, long interviews, and recently what I noticed, because this research also is a comparative uh, research with the Liberation and Le Monde in France and, uh, 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 and New York Times in the United States, you have more and more a kind of a forum where uh, you let experts uh, reply. So uh, I, I will be very telegraphic, and I will uh, 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 expand maybe uh, if you are interested in Q&A. So uh, I, I, uh, I use two methodology. Uh, uh, first, it's uh, to depict the contribution of academics. So I have a sample uh, from uh, uh, three journals, two Al uh, Akbar and Nahar and the Daily Stars. Uh, uh, we got 225 op-eds during this uh, uh, one-year period from 2010 to 2011, uh, uh, according to certain sampling, and um, uh, and uh, and in order to do a qualitative analysis about the contribution of the academics, and I wanted to be clear, academics is not those who have PhD. Academics are those who, who work either in universities or in research uh, centers. This is very important, okay? I mean, uh, part-timer is not, is not part of my uh, uh, reflection, okay? Uh, somebody like Omar Nashabi, uh, an outstanding uh, uh, researcher, etc., is not part of this research, okay? He is not affiliated full-time to a university. This is very important, okay? So, uh, so, I, uh, so I, I get 147 uh, op-eds uh, written by academics uh, uh, by extending my sampling to more for um, uh, um, newspapers and from 2011 during three years to 2013, okay? So uh, quickly, if I take uh, uh, the first sample, we have only 17% uh, uh, of op-eds is written by academics, okay? 38, uh, uh, so, uh, so we have a small percentage and when, when you go uh, through the number of academics, uh, you, you, you find is, uh, uh, the number is, is, is much smaller because you have, um, uh, uh, you have people, uh, they are uh, uh, they, uh, frequently writing, I mean professional writing, like Fawaz uh, Trabulsi, Ahmed Baidun, and actually it's, it's, it's very thinning, they are retired uh, uh, faculty, and um, um, uh, uh, surprisingly, Jad Shaban, uh, uh, also write uh, frequently, Asad, uh, uh, Abu Khalil, etc., etc. Um, uh, actually, it's uh, the uh, 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 newspaper are unconscious about the importance of writing of academics. So they, uh, when I interview many, many of key, uh, gatekeeper, I mean those who are in charge of the op-eds, and uh, they tell me that uh, why, why, why should uh, uh, target them? And, uh, uh, and rarely they invite uh, 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 anyone to write. Actually, they just receive the op-eds. Um, 
the content analysis of uh, of this uh, mass of, uh, of, uh, of writing, I did co content analysis, and again, as I told you, I will go just uh, in, uh, in a telegraphic way. I, I identify three uh, forms of writing, reflexive, what I call provocative, and as a citizen. Reflexive when really you, uh, uh, you see from, uh, from the piece that you, uh, uh, you have specific expertise uh, uh, from your uh, research and you uh, simplify it for public. Okay, and, and reflexive when you see, you, you do comparative, uh, you, you refer to history and things like that. So uh, it's very interesting, for instance, I analyzed the writing of, of uh, some of the writing of Samir Frangi, because Samir Frangi write also as a citizen, not as a reflexive. Uh, the debate between Talal Atrisi and Kamal Wahbi about, about Kamal Husseini, for instance, in the Nahar, uh, uh, the piece of uh, Ahmed Balbaki, professor of, uh, of uh, Lebanese University, etc. A provocative, it's, uh, it's reflexive, but really, I mean, this uh, a, a scholar push uh, the debate in, uh, even to hurt the common sense of people uh, uh, and, and, and really pro provoke debate, okay? So again, I am absolutely not normative here. I may completely disagree or agree with this provocation. But just to say, I noticed that there is some academics really, what is very interesting is, is, their, uh, is how much they still debate. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about some of the writing of Asad Abu Khalil, Bashar, uh, Asad Abu Khalil is very known, uh, based in the uh, United States, but Bashar Haider at EUB, Muna Fayyad uh, at Lebanese University. Okay. And, uh, and citizen, as I said, it's really, they write uh, simply as, uh, and here is very interesting, they are, uh, sometimes they are activists, uh, and they write in something it's not specialized of, but they, uh, they care about it. Uh, so, um, and, and, and this writing is often uh, very interesting also, I would say. Okay, what are the topics of this uh, uh, op-eds? Um, um, written by academics, not, uh, okay, uh, so mainly p politics, uh, uh, only 18% social science, and I can't, I tell you, if I do a, um, a better content analysis, maybe this is not less than 5%. I mean, uh, again, it's, uh, our newspaper is fully engaged on political uh, issue, and much less social or, or cultural or economic uh, uh, issue. Uh, so we, I, uh, uh, I argue that we, uh, uh, here in my, in my talk, I will not say why, but it's clear it's related to commodification of higher education uh, all over the world, and, and specifically in Lebanon, specifically at EUB. So, uh, uh, but, uh, but, um, uh, definitely we have paradigm shift and we have a uh, different role of, uh, ac uh, of academics nowadays compared to the past. Uh, I refer, uh, if I refer to a study by uh, Agnès uh, Favier uh, or other, it's clear in the 90s uh, you have a, a, a investment uh, specifically from Lebanese University, I'm glad that I see Jacques Kabanji here. Uh, I'm sure he, he may uh, add something in, in the Q&A, uh, how they support uh, the Confederation of Lebanese Worker uh, when, when they went to, uh, to strike. Uh, I am thinking about a petition of the 55 in, 19, in the mid of 90s, uh, where um, uh, 32 academics among this 55 who signed it, and this petition was so important that Salim al hus adopted most of the text in his, uh, um, uh, in his first speech or, or uh, uh, the, the cabinet um, uh, uh, statement. Uh, again, uh, Favier talked about um, amazing uh, uh, intellectual milieu uh, with, with a, a conference, uh, round table, etc., etc., that it was a, a real uh, discussion and debate uh, um, uh, in, in the society uh, in which the academics play a major role. So, uh, so 
so we can, uh, when we talk about the role of the uh, until, uh, uh, academic intellectual, we can think about two, uh, two uh, figures, okay? Uh, first, uh, academic, uh, being academic activist, uh, uh, Sartre, it means that you engage with, uh, with the hot potato issue in your society, you are part of, uh, of the debate, the major debate in society, you sign petition, uh, you, uh, 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 you take position, etc. And you may be academic specialist. Okay. Only you, you have expertise about a specific uh, uh, domain and you believe that you should engage with the public in this domain. Both are important and we should not be nostalgic only to, to, to the, to, to the uh, Sartre, uh, Sartre, uh, Sartrean format. I think both uh, 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 are important. So uh, uh, I, I, I think, the, uh, and some people are both are uh, uh, Sartian and uh, academic specialists. I'm thinking about Hannah Arendt, this uh, wonderful uh, um, uh, philosopher and political scientist who, uh, 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 who, who was always uh, uh, engaging theoretically in her writing, but uh, writing uh, frequently op-eds and participating in public debate. Uh, I want to quote her here, true understanding doesn't tire of interminable dialogue and the vicious cycles because it trusts that imagination eventually will catch at least a glimpse of the always frightening light of truth. I think uh, this, is, this is how, how um, it is important. Um, uh, Op-its are not uh, a collection of published articles following the protocol of an academic article, nor are they supposed to be documents that s s uh, solely function emotionally. They are intervention in a possible debate, be, uh, be it an, uh, an actual debate uh, or the designation of an important issue that should be put in the public uh, inquiry. Uh, so I will go to my conclusion. Uh, so uh, academics uh, could use a public for, uh, forum uh, that is offered by the newspaper to rationalize an issue of the debate. And I, 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 I would like to insist here, rationalization doesn't mean uh, that we are uh, a rational budget, uh, uh, subject, uh, we, we are not part of the uh, of, uh, political, uh, uh, we, we are an organic intellectuals. It means that uh, we, uh, we can side with, uh, with the bourgeoisie, we can side with the oppressor or oppressed. But I think the contribution, there is a, a question of rationalization is very important. Although infrequent, op it's written by academics, especially when they uh, write refl uh, reflectively or provocatively, do play an important role. Uh, uh, in the debate, uh, in, the, in the paper, uh, I, I, I give some examples. Um, academics could utilize the op -eds pages as a laboratory to test their ideas and to enter into direct conversation with different audiences. This could be the case uh, for all kinds of positions, um, either when testing the social and political order, uh, an activity that requires direct interaction with the public or by exploring public policy issues. Moreover, this rather thin flow of articles from academics is expressing distrust toward universities and more generally uh, knowledge production. So unfortunately we have a double failure, failure uh, from the side of Lebanese uh, newspaper to incorporate academic voices, but also uh, failure of the part of the academics to engage in the public uh, spheres. Uh, just, I need two minutes, okay? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. So, so, I, uh, uh, so th this work is also comparative study. Uh, um, uh, I mean, in, um, in, in the work I, I work uh, with, uh, with Regas, we look to uh, the uh, type of, uh, of research activities uh, scholars have in the Arab world. We have around 260 uh, interviews, in-depth interviews, 
all over the Arab world, but specifically in Jordan and and uh, and Lebanon, and uh, and we we see the, uh, uh, the different type of activities academics doing. If you go to France, you see how important uh, the professional it means that the. the the, the research done within the university and how it's connected to the public and to policy uh, moment, I mean, uh, 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 and, and uh, the critical research, it means uh, research which is um, not necessarily based on empirical work. In the United States, you have a different format, but when you come to the Arab East, you will see that the big uh, bunch of research is a policy, is, uh, is uh, do, as funding uh, from um, outside, so it's always uh, uh, goes through the format of reports, etc. You see, the public is a small, and it's not a question. Public research it means engaging with the public, uh, op eds television, etc. But what is interesting is disconnected from the professional research. I mean, the real research you do in uh, in a long term. It means that more and more the public are not. Uh, the academics, and if you close your eyes and think who are the most important public, uh, public intellectual nowadays in the Arab world, you will find uh, most of them, they are outside of the universities. Thank you.